Right now, some of you are hanging on by a thread. You've got problems in which you've got to know. Some of you've got legal problems, all kinds of problems. You've got to understand there's a miracle hidden inside. It's the whole story of Joseph and his many-colored coat. His brothers were jealous. When you succeed, some people are going to be jealous and resentful and uptight and they, because they haven't worked on their own self-esteem. Self-esteem is how you have self-love. When you're in high self-esteem, you don't compare yourself to anyone. You love them. You bless them. You want more for them than they want for themselves. And then you get to have more. But Joseph had more light than the rest of his brothers. More joy. And a father, dad, gave him more favor. So when they're on the road, what do they do? They put him in a pit. He ends up getting sold into slavery. He ends up working for Potiphar. Potiphar's wife bad mouths him. He ends up in jail for 13 years. But what had God painted on his heart? And I suggest to you that every one of you have got stuff painted on your heart. Everyone touch your heart and say, I've got it painted on my heart. I don't know what God's destiny is for you, but you do. Your inner knower, when you go inside the secret place of the Most High, like Jesus said, and you shut the door on doubt and fear and lack, limitation, shortage, despondency, depression, guilt, and all the low stuff that Paul and Denise work on in the Holy Spirit to resurrect you, to, to have you draw nigh to the truth of you. Because if you know the truth, it sets you free. He now gets to do, they call Joseph the heroic dreamer 